How to make homemade wine. Wine making can be fun and profitable. If you have some leisure time, you can always use it for making wine at home. However, you need your own equipment to make homemade wine like a funnel, demijohn, fermentation lock, etc. Always ensure that this equipment is kept meticulously clean as dirt can contaminate any wine. Given below are a few helpful hints to making homemade wine a success. Get hold of a book of recipes containing easy recipes to follow. A step-by-step winemaking book meant for amateur winemakers would a fine choice. Begin with fresh fruit. Buy fruit that is in season as it reduces the cost of making wine and being fresh makes good wine too. To make wine from grapes, you need a clean pail, the necessary amount of fruit, and five liters of hot water. Pour hot water over the grapes. The amount of sugar to be added depends on how dry or sweet you want your wine to be. Then stir them together and cover the bucket with a piece of linen cloth. When it becomes lukewarm, add yeast used for winemaking. Stir the mix now and then over the next 24 hours. Sieve the whole contents of the pail using gauze into the demijohn, letting the liquor run through, leaving behind the sediment, which is to be thrown away. Add a capsule of pectin enzyme to the mixture in the demijohn to assist in the process of fermentation, to clear the wine, and to improve the color. Then place the fermentation lock with some fluid on top and leave the whole thing in a warm place. When fermentation is over, you will see the clear wine ready for you to drink. If it takes too long to clear, put some clean eggshell and natural protein into the demijohn. When the wine becomes clear, it is ready for you to drink. Article for blog hash 3. How to make homemade wine. Wine making at home needs time, money, and a lot of effort. However, you feel that all these are compensated when you sip that fine wine you have made yourself. To make wine at home, you need a quintal of fruit, two cups of sugar, a packet of yeast, gallon of water, a container that can be closed tight with a lid, and a piece of cheesecloth. Firstly, get the fruit crushed in a suitable utensil and then transfer the whole lot to a container. Add a cup of hot water and two cups of sugar and mix them well before adding it to the container. Then dissolve the active yeast in two cups of hot water and pour it into the container with the mashed fruit. Finally, pour 13 cups of water into the same container, stirring the whole thing until mixed well. Once this is over, cover it tightly with a lid and store it in a cool, dark place, ready for fermentation which can take three, four weeks. Once the fermentation is over, strain the contents using a colander or cheesecloth. Now that you have made your homemade wine, you can fill them in suitable bottles duly corked for that authentic look. Pour some into a wine glass. Enjoy it.